With every passing day, the iconic moment of SpaceX's Starship orbital launch is coming closer and closer. Space is a wild field. You can never go there unprepared. And that's why it's taking so long for SpaceX to launch their vehicle. Because SpaceX doesn't want this mission to fail and end up in a massive disaster. So, what's been happening at SpaceX lately? Let's find out. Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to discuss the recent news and developments that are coming from SpaceX regarding the static test of Starship's booster. There are a lot of things to discuss, so without wasting any time, let's get started. Starship is a revolutionary spacecraft that SpaceX has developed in order to conduct future space operations. SpaceX has a record of always coming up with something that surpasses the space community. The very first time, it was the reusable rocket boosters, then Falcon Heavy, a big spacecraft, and now it's the Starship that everyone is looking forward to. After a very short flight in 2021, Starship has never taken another flight into orbit. The CEO and co-founder of SpaceX, Elon Musk, announced at the start of this year that in the upcoming 12 months, the space community can expect to see the launch of Starship. Throughout the year, we saw SpaceX conduct a lot of static fire tests of both the Starship 24 prototype and the new Super Heavy Booster 7. The thing is, Starship and its booster are not ordinary machines. In fact, once it takes orbital flight, it will become the world's number one rocket based on the thrust produced by its 33 Raptor engines. Currently, the record holder is NASA's SLS rocket system, but with SpaceX in the game, it won't be able to keep that record for long. As the amount of thrust that the 33 Raptor engines of the Starship booster will produce is double that of the SLS rocket system, but enough with the bolstering of SpaceX's Starship, because, as capable as it is, certain problems are delaying the launch. Starship was supposed to launch in 2022, but now, it seems like the launch date will definitely get pushed toward the first quarter of 2023. So, what's the problem that is delaying the launch? Starship and its booster are complex machines, and each time SpaceX tested them, there were a few complications that needed to be addressed before the final orbital launch sequence can be initiated. First, it was the booster's tank, and then, one of the Raptor engines blew off during a static test. However, after SpaceX did all the necessary improvements, it appeared that everything is all set. But then, another problem came up. And this time, it wasn't either the booster or the Starship. It was the new orbital launch mount that has a problem. Last time SpaceX fire tested its 14 engines out of 43, the camera showed debris coming from the orbital launch pad. After the inspection reports came out, SpaceX told that there was significant damage to the concrete base and some of the pipelines. SpaceX claimed that the data they received after the inspection is very useful, as it will help them make everything perfect before they launch the Starship. And then, we saw SpaceX performing upgrades to their orbital launch mount. New pipelines were installed, heat shields were upgraded, and the concrete base was reinforced using industrial-grade FON DAG cement. Fondag uses a combination of pure calcium aluminate cement and aggregates to make tough concrete that is resistant to temperature and pressure. According to Fondag, a well-built concrete structure using their cement can sustain temperature extremes from a negative 184 to a positive 1094 degrees Celsius. The main reason behind such a rigid structure is the chemical composition that makes the concrete structure dense. So, after the reinforcement of the orbital launch pad's concrete base, SpaceX was sure that it will sustain the booster engine's static fire test. But the static fire test, which SpaceX conducted in the last week of November, says otherwise. During the test, SpaceX fired 11 out of 33 of their booster's Raptor engines. And following the test, the launch pad showed signs of damage to the concrete. The damages aren't as significant as the ones that occurred during the last 14 engines test, but this time, fewer engines were fired, so either the base is stronger than the last time, or the less damage is just because fewer engines were fired. 
In any case, the concrete is not strong enough to uphold the pressure and temperature which will be blasted onto it. Once all 33 Raptor engines are simultaneously fired for the Starship to take its orbital launch. Considering how important the orbital flight mission is for SpaceX, they need to get everything in order before they can go all in and launch Starship. Starship is a state-of-the-art machine, so NASA and SpaceX are planning to collaborate and take humans once again back to the lunar surface. Last time a human stepped on the moon was, was back in the days of Apollo 11. The Artemis 1 vessel that NASA launched last month has the same mission, and that's where Starship comes in. Both Artemis 1 and Starship will work together to take the humans back to the moon. The mission to the moon is there, but Elon Musk has even greater ambitions with his new spacecraft, and that is to use it to colonize Mars. To be honest, SpaceX has produced their spacecraft keeping in mind their greater ambition, and once the Starship orbital flight is successful, it won't take long for humanity to reach Mars. Even the new capture landing system prepared by SpaceX is in line with the mission to accommodate the quick launch of Starship. With capture landing, once the booster gets its job done and releases Starship into orbit, it will come back and after restacking and refueling, it will be launched. SpaceX has estimated that it will take a gap of just one hour between the two launches with this system. It still needs testing but with the high-tech software on board and the movable chopstick arms from Mechazilla, chances are that SpaceX will be successful in making it work. So, basically, the only problem that we have for now is the concrete base that isn't holding up. In other cases, a fire trench and water basin system are used to launch such big rockets. However, in the case of Starship, the launch site is near a natural reserve so the authorities aren't allowing them to use the traditional launch pad system. So, to get rid of the issue, SpaceX developed its own orbital launch mount. It's all good, and is a good enough mount to hold and launch the rocket. The only problem is the concrete base. Last time, when they tested 14 booster engines, some pipelines were ruptured, but during the recent test with 11 engines, and the heat shields installed, they worked perfectly. So, it all comes down to how quickly SpaceX gets rid of the concrete problem, and we get to witness the historic moment of Starship and Super Heavy's launch. So, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.